Hello there, and welcome to episode 31 of my quest to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I attempt to play maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to scores of 25,000 GeoGuessr points each. Today we have come to the commune of Vevelsta. Now Vevelsta is a rather odd sort of commune. It is literally a place that most Norwegians who have been there only know in passing. Because, as you can see, there's hardly any roads here. It's centered, it's, it's in the southern parts of northern Norway. And uh, the reason people go through this place is that it is, that it has part of the Route 17 that runs on the mainland bit of the commune. So, in summer, in particular, people who are come up to this area to have a look at the nature, they will come traveling up to the town of Brønnøysund, they will head up here, take the ferry across here, and then they will race each other to the next ferry, like 17 kilometers away, that will take them over to the next island. So, this is a place where there are very few people living, and uh, not a lot of people staying either, because everyone who comes here tends to be in transit. And uh, from all reports, people who just rush through this place are missing through on one of the most spectacular fjords of Norway. Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to go into the fjord, but I have been doing the transit thing through here many times. So, before we have a check out of these three roads, let's have a look at some facts about Vavrsta. Vavrsta Commune, what will you have in store for us? Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you that we are on Route 17. So this is the transit road through the commune. And here you can see the line of cars coming down the road to reach the next ferry. And that is what is going to be a challenge here, because this road... As you can see, it's not ex exactly, well, it doesn't have a lot of bends. It also has some very long straights. I was like hoping we could get out of this island here or on the roads over here. I think they will be easier to figure out than the main road here. But okay, it looks to me like we are fairly close to the ferry pier here. Could it like be here or maybe here? We'll have to see. Well, seems like there's a fairly straight bit of road here. So let's have a look around the bend. Around the bend, we come to another straight bit of road. Mm, could have been somewhere here, I guess. Mm, that's a parking lot somewhere. Okay, let's have a. Wow, well, and then there was a slight change in weather. So, what will we find if we come around this bend? What did it say over there? Okay, here's a... There's a road off to the side as well. That could be helpful. Let's see. Could well be that. It could well be. Because it does curve. And here it says, ah, oh. <laughs> warning polluted water. Okay. Yeah, that's something you don't see a lot of in Norway. Most of the time you can drink the water in springs or in streams just right out of the ground. And up from the ground, I'm perfectly fine. Unless there's some dead dog or something else line after 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 the after the, uh, the stream 
So yeah, here we're going down to Andalsvågen, which is the name of the ferry pier. But I think we've established that we should be up here somewhere. So... Now there is a stream here. Let's see if we can figure, find where that is. Could that be... Let's see... No, it's not coming out here, is it? Doesn't look like it, and it should be before the bend starts. So, um, here about? Let's see. It's not easy spotting streams in this undergrowth. And I think, well, it's obvious that. These images are taken late in summer. Berries are getting ready to get plucked, I see. This could be the stream. At least it matches the direction. And, well, I think that's a little flimsy to go by. At least it's a measure or a reference. Okay, so we have just started the bend. And it's a very slight bend as well. So it starts there and ends there. So there. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Mm, let's see, let's make that a little larger. Get the start of the bend at the bottom margin of. There we are. Yeah. And mm, I can't fit the whole thing. That's the problem. Mm. Hmm. I'd say we're about there, but uh Let's see. One, two, three. Three that way. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, three and four. So, and if the bend ends there, yes, at the bottom there. And then it starts around here, somewhere. Let's just put that one down. So three and four is seven. So that's three and a half, and three should be about there. Let's try that. Well, I like starting with a bullseye. That's never wrong. And I think I got my wish for one of the other roads. Now let's see, so we're either on this island, but given the terrain around here, I think we're on the mainland. So somewhere on this, on this road between Stockerschön and Vistus. Hmm. Okay, so here the road is going northwest, slightly more to the west. Let's see, so we could be like, for instance, here, or we could be here. So if we are here, yeah, that sort of matches, then we should be coming down to Stockerschön before long. Okay, so we got, ah, yeah, we got a rear view of a mountain range called, range called the Seven Sisters. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, and what's the seventh you say? Well, there's a double peak here. Can't remember if it's that one or that one. It's called the Twins, so there should be seven. And I think... I'm not quite sure that my assessment was right. Could actually have been up here as well. Hmm. Yeah, that actually seems more likely. And if that is the case, this is going to be a tough one. But yeah, it does bend like so, and then we'll come up to an axis road over there. 
Let's see. Now there's not bending the other way. The access road should have been should have been here. Hmm. Let's see, I can't read the number of the road either. It should say 114. Hmm. Let's see, what's that access road supposed to be then? There was a farm. Hmm. I think I've got this slightly wrong. Might we have been up here? It doesn't seem right either, does it? Hmm. Let's see, so we're coming to 60 zone, so we're coming, I'm driving through the farmyard towards the northwest. There's an access road there. Could we have been here? That doesn't seem all that unlikely, does it? So, let's see. The thing is, though, this doesn't really match what I'm seeing, does it? So, okay, so it's a very slight bend if we go that way. Or at least seems to be a slight bend. Yeah, it is quite a slight bend. So, and then it continues, wait, there's, um, there's a road. Go off to the side. That could well be that one. Can we see? No, it doesn't show the houses, but that's not really important. And if we go down this road, we should find another access road on the same side. And yeah, we are definitely on the 114. And there's a shooting range off to the right. Oh, it's middle of autumn, that's for sure. Let's see, we should be getting up to, let's see, there's a, there's a road going down here. I don't know if that is the one shown here. No, that's not right. Another one going up there. And yeah, the road will bend a little towards the left. Now we should have an access road coming off to the right. Here we are. Yes, that's this one. That means we're somewhere on that bit of road. And of course, this is where things get tricky because we have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six. Okay, let's call that seven. And the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. Mm, okay, so call it ten and seven. Let's reduce this window a bit. So ten and seven between the start of each bend. So let's see. So that bend starts there and that bend starts there. So 10 and 7 is 17. The middle is roughly there. That's 9.5. 9, and a half. nine uh, 4 and 3 quarters. And let's see, four point three seven. That should take us to about nine. Let's see, four and three quarters. That will take us up to. Let's see. So if that is nine seven, should be around here, I think. And that is a gutsy call. And another bullseye. Wow, I've never opened with two bullseyes before, so this 
It's definitely a turn up for the books. Now I think we're on the island. This island here, Hamnea, the harbor island. And let's see. So there's a bit here where the road crosses over the island, and we're looking all, yeah, we're pretty much looking due east, so we're probably here. Unfortunately, yet again, no houses showing. So we will have to figure this one out ourselves. Well, we could well be over here. Let's see, so there's an access road here. More of like so. Yeah, that seems to fit. And there should be another one. I think I saw one going off here. And that is coming like so, yes. And probably meeting up with that other one. And then we have an access road going off here. And that's generous calling that a road though. But I guess it might have been once. And there's another one down on the corner of the bend here. Which runs off like so, yes. We are definitely here. And we are almost on that one. So I should be able to count between these two, shouldn't I? Let's see. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And then the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we're moving in third set then. So that's about so. And the third would be about there. So let's try that. That can't be too bad. Four meters away. Nice. And this is where things get tricky again because now we're back on the main road. And well, maybe that camper van parking spot will help save me. Okay, so there's a large building here as well. So this is proper facility for things. Trouble is I have no idea how far out or far up the road this is. So I guess we'll just have to look and see if we can see anything that resembles. Here's a Stainmore Bobil parking. So Bobil is a caravan or a camper van. So this looks very likely. And if it is, I am very short on features to count, to count from and to. I'll just hope to have to hope that stream exists and that stream exists, or I'll have to go account from that road and down here because the access road and the building doesn't show. I'll just have to check whether. No, I think this is it. <laughs> over there. I can see this gap between the stripes over there. Gonna put myself a little closer. That might be a huge mistake, but uh, well, this was always gonna be a puntable, isn't it? Ooh, 23 meters just within. Nice. And I think we're back on the island. Okay, so we've got a house almost to the north. And I think there's something in the trees here as well. Okay, so we are... Hmm, 
hard to say where. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so there's a number of houses here. I have a feeling... No, that was not a feeling to go by. Let's see, we're coming up to the ocean here. And this is the end of the road. Okay, so could we... Hmm. Well, there are many places we could be. The question is, uh, the question is of course, where we are. Where we actually are. So now I'm heading west, more or less due west. So I think we can establish that's not, but we could actually be over here. There's a churchyard or a cemetery. Could also be over here. So there's a fairly long straight bit of road. And angles slightly, a very slight bend to the right. And here we can go up to the left. Let's see if we can get to we'll see the cemetery. Uh, cemetery that looks very much like the kind of yes here we got here we got the graveyard and there's the intersection for that now we just need to figure out how far away so and there is that bend but i don't know if i dare go by it we use it. Of course, yet again, we have absolutely no visual references because there are no houses on the map. Uh, I would say we're about there. Because the road still bends this way. And kind of does for a little more, but not by much. Yeah, there's a slight curve to the road here, then it straightens out. Slight curve to the road, then it straightens out. But, um, hmm. I'm tempted to say we're even further along, but, uh, there's only like 40 meters or something away from that crossroads. What do we do now? Do I do the count? We can try. Hopefully they are fairly consistent in the speed on this road. One, two, three. And then the other way, turn the crossroads over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm hmm. We can actually count to there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, seven, eight, seven, it's eight and three. So it's eight to there and three to there. Reduce the map a little. And for once, things fit fairly well. So eight and three. Oh crap, which bend is it I'm using? I think it's that and that. So eight and three is 11. 
that's five and a half. I'm gonna go with that one. Please. Five meters away. Nice. We nailed Everstar on the first try. That's nice after the rather horrific experience with uh, with uh, Flatang in the previous episode. Well, that was nice. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you again in episode 32. Until then, bye bye.